hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand new let's play thingy majigam or whatchamacallit thing this is um I, I, I don't know what game you can guess it is considering it says the name on the screen this is the lovely wonderful HD remaster of the original Resident Evil which was a it's basically a PC version of a fantastic GameCube version which was released in the early 2000s now that game was fantastic, and I'm assuming that this is going to be fantastic as well, as this is just a, a port with some added extra PC shininess added to it. I've played about 20 minutes of it, and I've seen how shiny and wonderful this game actually is. So, without further ado, let's begin, shall we? Resident Evil. Oh, yes. Back into the world of proper survival horror. Now, we're going to be playing it in widescreen. Controls are going to be original. Subtitles are going to be on. Let's do this. Now, this game's got an interesting difficulty system. We've got number one. I like climbing a mountain, fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. That's hard mode. Funnily enough, it's the first option. Number two, I like going on a hike. Good exercise, but not too strenuous. That's normal. I like taking a walk. You can relax and enjoy yourself. That's easy. Now, of course, we're going to play on easy. I mean, pff, what do you take me for? Some professional. I'm, I'm going to be playing on normal. I believe that... The best way to play any game is on normal, especially this game, because this game can be rather unforgiving. So, normal it is. Now, here we have normal Chris, and then we have punching boulder Chris. I think we're going to be going for the normal Chris. We have Jill, and, well, bluer Jill. Yeah, there's not much to say about Jill. She just kind of stays the same, really. Apart from the fact that she looks much better in her original costume. But I did the first playthrough of this, the um, original Resident Evil Director's Cut, as Jill. So we're actually going to do this one as Chris to, to shake things up a little bit. So, are you ready? Are you ready to enter the world of survival horror? Do you wish me good luck? Let's do it. Chris Redfield. Right. Saving content, please do not turn off your PC. Save successful. Wonderful. Right. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon, Raccoon City, City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Now I'm kind of hoping that my voice isn't going to be completely Bizarre overwhelmed by this cutscene. Occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims, Victims were apparently eaten. Eaten mess, actually. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. It was a mess. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Oh no. <gasps> He's missing an eye. Oh. This game we looks continued beautiful. Our search for the other members. And it turned into a nightmare. Oh god, this brings back so many memories of me playing the version on the GameCube. I love it. Oh. Oh. Oh, I guess it was nothing. Of course it was nothing. This is Resident Evil. Nothing's gonna harm you. Not while I'm around. If you get that reference, I love you. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh no. Jill's about to be eaten. She really is going to become a Jill sandwich. Oh yeah. Go Chris. Run, 
Jill, run! Hey, Brad! Where the hell's he going? He's being a douche. Press this way. Yeah, Wesker. Got a little bit of Wesker. Oh, I'm Barry. Don't forget Barry. And now that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do an intro to a game. Oh, I still love that cutscene, no matter how many there times I've seen it. There are only three Stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. Oh, I'm getting we chills. We don't know where Barry is. Oh. <sighs> oh, this... Is just... everyone alright? Oh. Barry. Where's, Where's Barry? Barry? I'm sorry, he's... but he's probably... No. What was What's that? that noise? I'll go and check. I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Oh yeah, you're definitely going to secure this area. Chris? Be careful. Take care. I'm sure they've, oh, yeah. they've changed the lines. Oh, what a travesty. Oh, this looks amazing. I love all they've done with the graphics. Even though it's just, it's just slight changes, it still looks amazing. But I'm going to have to go do a quick sound check, so I will be right back. And welcome back. I just had to go do something very quickly. Right. Um. Oh dear, the controls. The controls. They do not seem... Oh dear. Oh dear. Um. Um. Yes. Just make sure that everything's... Okay. That's okay. That's fine. Okay. I'm still... It's still weird getting used to these controls because... I'm currently using a PS4 controller. And... Um... It's obviously recommended that you use, um... Oh, dear. What is run? Oh, that's run. Okay. A large filth encrusted jar. Ooh, hello. Yes, I'll take the emblem. Yes, I know exact. Actually, is there something on the back in this? No. Okay. Oh, there's there's some blood. I I wonder whose blood this could be. Oh, oh, wrong. No, no, no. I'm not used to these controls. Please excuse me. Can I interact with the blood? Nope. I sure hope it isn't Chris's blood. Well, I, I doubt that it's Chris's blood because... Stop going into the menu. Oh, <laughs> these controls! <clears throat> I'll get used to them eventually, don't worry. Oh, that that is gorgeous. Oh, that is just amazing. Oh. Oh. Hello, gorgeous. Oh. oh. He's creepy as hell in these. I love the zombies in the remake. Now, is the AI the same? Yes, it is, as far as I can tell. No, I don't want the map. I don't I don't my inventory. I want to examine. I want to examine. There you go. That is important. Oh god, no, don't go, don't go up don't go up there. Don't go up there. Good zombie. Okay. Up. I will get used to these controls. I swear I'll get used to them. Okay, so that's basically the first zombie. I'm not going to kill it because well it's easier not to. I'm going to save my ammo. I'm going to be... I'm going to be tight on my economy with ammo. Oh. What happened Wesker? to Jill and Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? 
Oh. This game is just... I'm sorry, but... Oh, oh I was, I was going to screenshot, but no. I, I almost screenshotted. Now we get our handgun. Yes, we're going to be taking that, and we're going to be using the hell out of that. Um... Okay. So, yep, we want to use that. Okay. Now, this is very different to um, the director's cut version I played way back when. There's so many changes, so many tiny little changes that um, completely mix up how the game is played. Now, I'm trying to remember how to actually get this over there. I think we push it there. Fit Chris's... See, if, if Chris was his muscly version, he wouldn't have been able to fit through that tiny gap. And you know what? My hat goes off to, uh, to Capcom for this version. This is something that is just phenomenal. Now, if they were to do this, they've obviously got the game engine now on PC. So, there's nothing stopping them, I think, from, say, going back and doing Resident Evil 2 with this same art style. Um, I would absolutely love that. That would just be fan-dabby-dozy. Uh, yes, we're going to take the dagger. These are special defensive items, so when you get grabbed by an enemy, you can press one of the, uh, if you're playing on the Xbox controller, it's one of the... Uh, bumper or trigger buttons and it's L1 or L2 on PS4 controller or PS3 controller. Obviously this was released on their previous gen and current gen consoles. Oh. Oh! Chris, you pleb, don't fall over. Oh, the animations on the zombies' faces are just spectacular. I love them. Defensive item. And that's how the defensive item works. You see, a knife to the brain doesn't necessarily kill them. Now, this is going to be locked. Yes. So, we can just leave that zombie there. That was a little bit of a waste of the, um, the special item, but, eh, no biggie. No biggie whatsoever. Oh, those candles are gorgeous. Look at the fire effects. They are just wonderful. Um, I'm going to check down here. That's locked. Now, this area down here was never in the original Resident Evil. And, um... Oh, that... Oh, that lighting. Oh, I love it. Oh. Oh, somebody's got Katie Hopkins down in the dungeon. Oh, dear. Oh, look at me. I make a pop culture reference. <laughs> right. Um... Now, I don't know if we can actually go through this door yet. Can we? Oh, yes, we can. Lovely. Let's go and have a look outside, shall we? In probably one of the creepiest areas in this game. Ooh, the sound of bugs. Oh, God. I've. Oh, that's horrible. These headphones. It sounded like the bugs were inside my ears. Oh, yes. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Yes, I will take the shotgun cartridges. Now, that's all locked off. We don't need to bother going over there yet. Actually, I'm going to double check that because they could have changed things. Yeah, we don't need that yet. So a lot of the, um, the puzzles do say stay similar compared to the original Resident Evil, but obviously... This has got some fantastic changes. The game is much longer, because I think my playthrough of the um, original Resident Evil Director's Cut was about two and a half hours, maybe? Might have been. I think it was, anyway. But, um, this game is much longer. It's got so much more added into it. It's... oh. This is the pinnacle of survival horror. Survival horror doesn't get any better than this game. I mean, you could argue that some of the Silent Hills are better than it, but to be honest, this is just fantastic. And to think that... Oh, that window. And oh, I love how you can actually see the paintings in this version. Oh, 
Never used to be able to see the paintings properly. Right, so we're going to pop into here to above a dining room. So we've got some zombobs in here. Hey, buddy. Now, there's a thing about killing zombies in this game, so what I'm going to do is try and not kill as many zombies as I can. So I'm going to get him to come around here. Oh, no. There we go. I'm getting used to the controls. I'd have normally been fuddy duddying about for a while there. Um, so he's quite happily being a zombie over there. We want to get that lovely blue gem. So he's probably going to end up turning around. Ooh, these headphones are fantastic. You hear the moons swapping each side. Come on, turn around there. And push you off. <coughs> there we go. Okay, so you're now over there. Hello there, Mr. Zombie. Does it have auto-aim? Yes, it does. That's nice. You can see the gun slowly twitching towards him. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, they still have quick turn. That's handy. Right, so I'm going to let him be. Let him be. Just hang around with a zombie. Let him be. Um... I think that's locked from either side, yes. So we're going to go and take a look. What? Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, pardon my French. Um, that's... Oh. God damn it, zombie. That's something I forgot. You need a sword key to actually get into that area now. Um. <clears throat> oh. I think I remember what I've got to do. Now, if we go over here, there's a high possibility that this door is going to be locked as well. Yes, I remember what we have to do now. Right. Oh, going down those stairs without a loading screen is wonderful. I wonder what's down here. Nothing? No. See, I'm not sure if they've actually added in much different compared to the, um, much different. Yes, good English, Chris. Um, I don't know if they've added... That was weird. I could hear extra footsteps. Um, ooh, we can get... Actually, how much inventory space do we have? Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Would it be worth putting that back? I think it might be worth putting that back. Yeah. Let's just keep that there for now, because we don't actually need that. And let's pick this up instead. Yes, I will take the blue gem. So, as I was trying to say, is I don't know what they've added in that's different compared to the GameCube version. Um, obviously, they've done, up, done upscale the textures a little bit. and uh, right, Zombies up there. That's fine. Obviously, they've changed the textures. They've... I think they might have added in a few new camera angles, because when I was out in the graveyard, um, when I picked up a shotgun shells, I'm sure that camera angle was different. Oh. Yep, it's a good thing I... I didn't pick up that, uh... Oh, hello, zombie. What the hell happened in this mansion? Right, so we have to remember that there's two green herbs down in this area. Oh, I love that corridor. Like, there's no sound, there's nothing. Oh, I love it. I love it. Hello, buddy. Yeah, I remember you. Mm. 
See, I love the fact that if you slowly walk past the zombies, they don't try to eat you. So, oh, we need... Oh, there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff. Um, should be coming up to an item box soon, though. Hopefully. Um, right. That's locked from the other side. So this should take us out into back into the main hall. Yes. Wait, I'm 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 kind of confused. I've got a full inventory. Wait a minute. Am I being really stupid? Let's have a look at the map, shall we? It's been a long time since I've played this version. Right, so you'd have to excuse my text tone. Um, that's open there. That's closed. That's... Oh dear! I seem to have come up a cropper in what to do. So we need the sword key, I know that much, So, because we need to go into the hallway to go to the area where the red door is here. Oh dear. But we need to get that arrow, but we need an item box, because we've got far too many items. Um, I could use up all the ink ribbons, but I don't think that would be... A good idea. Um, I'm really lost for what to do. That's locked, that's locked. That doesn't go anywhere. We need to sort a key to go in there, a key to go in there, a key to go in there. Let's go back in here and have a nosy, shall we? Because I know we need that uh, arrow to be able to open up the crypt. And I think there might be a key down there. But obviously, we do not have the room to pick anything up. So... That zombie's lovely. He doesn't want to hurt us at all. Yeah, Mr. Zombie. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi there. Yes. He's wonderful. I love him. Can't carry any more items. Oh, no. Yes, Mr. Zombie. Yes. Um, I'm probably missing something really stupid. I know we need to get that, but we don't have the room to pick it up. There's no way in hell I'm going through all the ammo clips I've got. There's no way in hell I want to use up all the ink ribbons. Um, ooh, I don't know what to do. Um... By now, we'd have been able to get to have got to an item box, but obviously that isn't the case. So, oh dear, this isn't—I don't know. No, this isn't the um, what was it Resident Evil Zero? You could drop items. I was just wondering if it added that feature into it. That would have been lovely if they had. Um, thank you, Thunder, for making this a little bit more ominous. That was wonderful. Okay, so that is locked there. Hey there, zombie. Oh, just look at his mouth move. That's wonderful. It's okay, Mr. Zombie. I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to leave you be. Right, let's go back through here, go back up the stairs, go into the other room, 
and see what was across from the hallway there. Oh, I love this corridor. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Now... The only way I can think of getting into an item box is, um... But I, I'm going to have to burn you soon, aren't I? Yes, I am. See, unlike, um... There's a special thing with the zombies in this. I'm not going to spoil it for you if you if you haven't seen this game before. Although I really want to spoil it. Um... Wait, whoever takes this emblem and find peace in death can't carry any more items. Yes, I, I'm aware of that. Now, I think this requires the helmet key to open. Yes. At least I can remember some things about this game. The stuff that's later on, not the early game stuff. Which is what always cocks me over when I'm playing Resident Evil games. Now... Ooh... I'm really stumped for what to do. Oh, now you wake up, you bugger. No, I, I don't want to kill him. Uh, no, I'm not going to knife him either. Screw that. I'm, I'm, I've almost got used to the controls 100%, so, yeah. Almost. I'm proud of myself. Um, right. I think I may have cocked this over by picking up those uh, ink ribbons. So I may have to go and use all three of those ink ribbons. Head over, Mr. Zombie. Hell of a, just, just a, ooh, naughty zombie. Okay, because I really need to pick that up. That's locked from the other side, and this is obviously open, but I, ah, uh, I'm going to have to save three times, aren't I? Oh, dear. Okay, let's go and save three times. Yep, yeah, come over here, zombie. Come on. There we go. Unless this door is actually miraculously open? Nope. Right. So I shouldn't have picked up that gem. So this is all my fault, really. Never mind. So let's go downstairs. Save the game. And I'll probably end the video here, because I don't know how long this is going to be, because I've just been kind of wandering around, not doing anything productive for the last 20 minutes? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe a bit longer. So, yeah... Let's... I don't want to waste the ink ribbons, though. There's got to be... There's got to be something. There's got to be some other thing I can do. Can I just drop the knife? No. I don't ever use the knife. Ah. Screw it. Let's go and save and waste the ink ribbons. This will be interesting. So... I'd like to thank you all for watching, and as I save my game, I'm going to go and save it three other times, so yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next part.